super excited right now because this is a Zion Crane 2S and well, let's get after it. Disclaimer, this gimbal right here is super heavy, so if you already have a heavy setup, your arms at the end of the day are gonna be killing you. Feels like a weapon in my hand. My favorite thing about this gimbal is just how steady it feels. It takes the same batteries that the Weeble S takes, which is pretty awesome, and it charges relatively quickly. The batteries last around 12 to 13 hours, which after about two months of using this thing, I can say that that's really reliable. One, two, three. But for real though, you gotta be stronger to carry this. Five, six. Get your reps up. Now recently on this gimbal, I had the Sony a7 III with the Tamron 28 to 75, a battery pack, monitor, and external microphone, all onto this gimbal. And here's how that footage turned out. Point of view mode, then you press it twice. Vortex mode. So, what'd you think? Another improvement that this gimbal has over the Weeble S is the locking mechanisms. The locks in the Crane 2S are robust and they're super reliable. I was carrying on the gimbal like this the entire day. To be honest, it saves you battery and you don't need to be jumbling your gimbal, especially when you're walking around. However, one drawback about this gimbal is that the legs are kind of tiny for something this heavy. This Crane 2S has the same leg size as the Weeble S, which makes zero sense to me because this payload is way heavier than the Weeble S's payload. I honestly can't put more than an A7 III in a battery pack on the Weeble S without it crashing out over a little bit of time. I'll drop the specs right now, but this thing can handle pretty much any running gun setup. Now guys, on my a7 III, I have the Tamron 28-75 f2.8 G2 lens, which honestly is the best lens for filmmakers that are doing the like running gun style. And this gimbal holds fine with that. I was literally running around New York City for around 12, 13 hours last weekend doing my first music video, which I'm super hyped, gonna be coming out in June with this gimbal. At around $399 now, this gimbal is a steal. Now that doesn't mean I no longer recommend the Weeble S anymore. I just think that if you're really trying to have a lot on your setup and you don't want any hiccups whatsoever, and you got kind of strong arms, get the Crane 2S. Honestly, in my opinion, it's an upgrade from the Weeble S. Now I want to show you guys something really cool. Give me a second. The Zion Crane ZY Play app has been receiving massive improvements ever since it came out. Now, even though I haven't mastered it yet, this is also one of my favorite features. Since I'm filming on my A7 III, I put the A6100 on on this with the Tamron 17 to 70, but watch. We're gonna turn on motion through the app. And now, whoa, I haven't mastered it yet, but look, I can, it goes with my phone. It's so creepy. I think it's creepy, but it's pretty cool actually. This is crazy. Now, I think that is amazing. You just simply have to turn it on through your phone. Oh, wow, I'm freaking it out right now. I don't know if the Zoom Weeble S has it, but I know for a fact that this gimbal has it, and it works amazingly. The controls are pretty much similar to that of the Weeble S, which overall, in my opinion, awesome. Besides it being slightly heavier and bigger, this gimbal is amazing. The shots that I'm gonna be able to achieve with this over the years on this channel are just gonna be sick. I highly recommend it. I'll put a link in my description below if people still read those. It's your boy Kip Jackson. Stars somewhere. It's been a while since I sat down in this chair. Much more to come. Peace. Woo! Looking to do major collabs this summer, so hit me up.